The Teen Center is now open at the Plymouth Boys and Girls Club. The project has been a few years in the making, with construction beginning this past spring. PCN stopped into the open house to see this terrific new center. The big thing tonight is the opening of the Teen Center. This is something that's been a dream for, I think, all of us that have been part of the Boys and Girls Club movement. Something that the teens can appreciate on their own. Uh, they're going to have a separate entrance, their own part of the club. They will still be able to use the facilities which everyone else has taken part of. But the big thing is they have something to call their own. A large area where they can congregate, a juice bar, uh, pool tables, game room, and individual uh, study areas of their own. It's tough to mix kids that are 16, 17 years old with kids that are 7, 8, 9. As a mentor they'll do it, but to try to congregate, that becomes tough. So we're pretty excited about it being open on a soft opening today and we're going to have kids start using it probably in the next two or three weeks. So they're really excited about coming and we've seen an influx of kids already that want to come here and hang out because as you know there aren't very many places in Plymouth where kids can hang out, not get in trouble, have uh, grown ups watching what they do. So in here we give them the freedom to be themselves within certain guidelines. Our, our plan is to take the cafe, we're going to probably name it Luigi's Cafe, and that is going to be also sponsored by Cisco and the British Bear Company, and they're going to help us train the kids that are managing it to become managers in like a retail or a uh, restaurant environment, even to the point that if they do well, they're going to mentor them into that position and possibly have a position for them when they graduate from high school. So we're really excited about that part of it. We also have a, a drama room and a public speaking room and in that room we're going to be working on how they can step in front of a camera such as this. We also have the room we're sitting, standing in which is the GED room which we use for our GED program who I which I might say that Gareth Lynch, who is the executive director here, is very instrumental in making this one of the most successful GED programs in the state. And then next door to that we have what's called the quiet room, which is for board games and for kids to interact. And try and teach them the social uh, skills that are necessary, because as you know, kids are really big into texting and emailing and they're not into the social skills so we're trying to teach that and then the biggest part of the of the building is also our game room which is loaded with pool tables bumper pool uh, hockey and kids are just going to get to hang out there and have a good time uh, we have a good turnout tonight uh, and i'm really appreciative of the people that have come in and, and helped us with this uh, i'm really happy to see it opening because uh, uh, I've said all along, all along I've said we need something specially for the teenagers so I think this will, will do well. <laughs>